Dear church family, the Bible tells us that we are all appointed to die. And after that is the judgment. But happily, it also tells us that as Jesus died, he's coming again the second time without sin unto salvation. Every one of us must be prepared in this life for the day of our death. Dying is very difficult. We don't like to think about it. We don't like to read about it. We don't like to hear about it. If you are unconverted and you've rejected this glorious, beautiful, exalted Savior all your life until this very moment, please don't destroy your own soul and keep going in that trajectory. But bend the knee now before it's too late before your name will be announced from this pulpit that you've passed away and your relatives will have to say of you, nice person, but never talk to me about what the Lord has done for his soul or her soul. I really don't know. I don't know where my dad is, where my mom is. How sad, how tragic. Oh, dear friend, if if you do know the Lord, be sure to tell your children, your grandchildren, that your hope is outside of yourself in Jesus Christ. Don't hold it in. Talk of this lovely Savior. And if you say, well, I just know so little about him, I hardly dare. Tell them the little bit you know. And ask God to lead you further. But don't go on rejecting the Savior. Don't go on pushing away his offers, his overtures of grace. That he's willing to save the greatest of sinners. He calls you weary and heavy laden. Are you not weary and heavy laden with your sin? To come to him just as you are. And he will give you rest. And his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Oh, come, come to the resurrected Savior who loves to appear to his own and who one day will present all of them to his Father in heaven.